going to take you through a little tour of the uh, the shrine, so to speak, of, uh, of some of the awards and, and accomplishments and, and uh, mementos that I accumulated over the years. And um, you know, one of the things people ask me is, you know, what would you have done if you had a uh, won that bronze medal at the Olympics? Where would it be? And it'd be in a pile somewhere down in the basement. Um, one of the things I really relied upon heavily throughout my career was not sort of uh, collecting mementos and, and reflecting on those and, and sort of resting on my laurels. It was always, they were always kind of tchotchkes to me, kind of distractions. But now that I'm retired, it's nice to be able to go back and, and kind of review and, and, and look at and remember some of the accomplishments and some of the, uh, or perhaps defeat. Um, so now that my son is here, it'll be a good opportunity for him when he gets a little older to show him these things and for him to explore and, and ask questions why dad this was a, a silver medal and not a gold or whatever the case is so uh, bottom line is that i'm i'm proud of the accomplishments and i'm proud of the uh, the, the help and the guidance and um just the whole experience the whole journey was was you know was filled with some ups and downs certainly but it uh, culminated in some, in some pretty memorable stuff. So I hope you enjoy. Here. Thanks. This is just uh, simply a certificate of participation from the London 2012 Olympics. We swing over here. This is uh, just an acknowledgement from Premier Pat Bins uh, after I had uh, won the Canada Games 2005. We're here, this Lieutenant Governor's Award for my participation and uh, achievement in 2012. Uh, this, this is again another. Um, not an award necessarily, but just a acknowledgement by the provincial government for my participation in the 2008 Olympics. This is my first ever Lieutenant Governor's Award for um, my victories at the Canada Games in 2005, in the 100 and 200 in Regina. It's a picture of me as Premier Robert Giz. You swing over here, this is uh, another Lieutenant Governor's Award. Uh, again, same thing for uh, the the two others I mentioned. This is uh, Newsmaker of the Year in 2005, um, after I'd won both uh, medals, two gold medals at the Canada Games. First island athlete to ever win two golds at a set of Canada Games, both of either winter or summer. We'll swing over here. This is sort of the, the shrine, so to speak. There's my first ever provincial award, 2002, uh, for Outstanding junior male athlete. We saw over here that's a senior male athlete award, 2005. This is 2006 Intercollegiate Athlete of the Year. This is some of my collegiate awards. Indoor Athlete of the Year, 2006. Uh, indoor Athlete High Point Score. Again, uh, Athlete of the Year Outdoor and High Point Score Outdoor. This is uh, in the corner here, my sister's um, intramural participation. We have plaques from Novice Double A, 1994. Uh, another award here from 96. Um, here's a commemorative plaque from my high school after I returned from the Beijing Olympics. Here's an all-around athlete of the year. That was pretty interesting. That was my first ever award, 2000. Uh, some of my dad's coaching awards. Here's a soccer team. Um, with uh, some pretty good athletes. One of them currently plays in the NHL uh, from 1998. Uh, here's my Canada Games medals. This is for the 100, for the 200. My uh, conference ring. Here's some old pictures. Here's one from 1997. <laughs> uh, here's some hockey pictures. That's kind of cool. Uh, here's a bunch of badges that... Uh, over the years, you know, you accumulate badges. This one's from uh, the Canada House, my dad. This one is a Nike athlete from the 2006 Canadian Olympic Trials. This one is Canada Games 2005. NACAC Games 2006. So there's some memorabilia from this the is a NACAC medal. Under 23, Dominican Republic 2006. We won uh, the Diamond League. Uh, in Rome in the relay back-to-back -back years. This is from 2011. This is 2012. Here's some uh, some swag from the, I don't know which Olympics this is. Um, 
Who knows? It's like an Olympic ring. It's kind of cool. Never worn. Cufflinks. Doug. <laughs> Collar Dealey. This is my Pan American Games medal in silver. Uh, as a part of the relay, 2007. It's Cork City Games. It's like a half a dozen or so of these uh, Certificate of Achievement for uh, Athletics PEI. Uh, let me take you across the bookshelf. Here's a Jared playing hockey. Uh, who knows when that is? Novice, probably. Let's see above us here, there's tons of medals and trophies. Hot dog trophy, oddly enough. Football, hockey, baseball, soccer. Here is kind of a neat thing. It's uh, all the medals I had won over the, geez, seven or eight seasons uh, competing at the Canadian Championships. There's 11 in total, the senior Canadian Championships. Two as a junior, and four as a Legion athlete. They're in there somewhere. These are some of the bib numbers I kept over the years. Kind of cool. Um, we got Berlin 2009 World Championships. We have Beijing. We have all sorts of stuff. So Bahamas 2014 at the inaugural World Relays Championship. Here we have some uh, really old awards. Some stuff from my dad. Softball. Uh, curling. <laughs> And the plates in the back there, are the uh, Lieutenant Governor's Award. So this is just kind of uh, some interesting stuff that one day when my son gets old enough, he'll be able to come down and look and, and ask questions. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye.